If unified voice messaging is enabled for your Mac computer and your voicemail system, you'll see an email come into your Gmail box that looks something like this, voicemail with a timestamp, and then below the uh, WAV file or the audio file that gets generated in order for you to um, download the file. So um, I've gone ahead and I've uh, clicked the download button and downloaded that file. And for some computers, it might be set up to uh, open up automatically in iTunes. Um, but you can change that default setting by um, selecting the file. Um, so I'm selecting the same WAV file. And then under the File menu, going to the uh, Get Info um, button. And you'll notice that if you uh, look closely, you should see an Open With um, like the tab, go ahead and select the open with and change from iTunes to QuickTime Player. And then you'll notice that you get a change all button. And when you select that, you'll get a dialog box ask you to change all the documents that are dot .wave files to QuickTime Player. Go ahead and click continue. And from now on, when you uh, select the download button, you will see that it downloads into your computer and then a few moments later QuickTime Player should open up and you can go ahead and just press the play button a lot faster than doing this through iTunes.